Okay, Daniel, I've, I've answered this question like a million times, but okay, you, you put 10 bucks onto it, I'll answer it again. Immigration from third world countries will turn America into a third world country. Immigrants that come here tend to vote for socialist policies. If you're pro-immigration, you're anti-American values. Complete and utter nonsense from beginning to end. Uh, you can't be anti-American values if you're pro-immigration because America was a country that to a large extent was founded on immigrants. And it suddenly became the America we know because of immigrants, the kind of economic powerhouse, the entrepreneurs who are mostly immigrants. So the idea that, uh, that if, if you're pro-immigration, you're anti-American values is exactly the, abs uh, the other way around. American values are individual rights. If you respect individual rights, you cannot be anti-immigration. If you respect individual rights, you respect the right of Americans to invite onto their property, to invite into their homes, to invite to be employed in their businesses, anybody they want, because they have a right to do so. And as Americans, it is the government's obligation to protect that right, not to violate it. So if I want to bring a bunch of Mexicans to work in my factory, it is none of your business. That is what American values are about. It's none of your business. And it's none of the government's business. Indeed, the government should do everything it can to protect my ability to do so. And as long as they're not criminals, gangsters, terrorists, or carriers of infectious diseases, it is none of the government's business. It is my right as an American businessman to employ whoever I want. Now, granted, employment law, we are not free in this country, among many, many, many other ways in which we are not free. And of course, if America is a rights respecting government, it has to respect the right of people in other countries to come into this country, as long as they're not violating Americans' rights. That is, as long as they're not trespassing on private property, as long as they're not crooks, criminals, terrorists, or whatever. What job, what responsibility, what American value is being protected? If you want to be angry about the decline of American values, then be angry with Democrats and be angry with Republicans, be angry with your neighbor, be angry with all those Americans who vote for these losers, and who, who support these losers who are running this country. They're the ones who are demolishing and destroying the values that are American. They're the ones who have brought us a new deal. They're the ones who brought us a great society. They're the ones who have brought us business regulations. They're the ones who brought us every socialist, statist you know, program from the beginning of America. Who, who, who did that? Americans did that. Your neighbors did that. Not immigrants. Your neighbors. FDR, not an immigrant. Johnson, not an immigrant. Nixon, who gave us all of the environmental regulations you have today and complain about today, not an immigrant. Americans. Americans vote for Democrats and Republicans. Democrats and Republicans are committed to turning this country into a statist country, into a tribalist country, into a collectivist country, they are to blame. Stop looking for scapegoats. That's what wimps do. That's what unthinkers do. Is unthinkers a word? People who don't think. How about that? And if we had the confidence that American values mean something, then we wouldn't accept multiculturalism, again, a program that both left and right accept completely, we would reject multiculturalism, and when the immigrants came over here, we would teach them and insist on them accepting, culturally insist, of them accepting the American value system. And because our value system is superior objectively to any other value system out there in the world, we would win the battle of ideas. But I guess you don't believe that the American value system is that good. It needs to be. It needs walls to protect it. Because it can't win the battle of ideas. It can't win an argument against third world people who might come here. It's such garbage. So, no. What turns America into a third world country would be Americans, not immigrants. What turns America into a statist, Fascist, communist, socialist, whatever it lands up turning into, theocracy, I don't know, will be Americans, not 
immigrants, not immigrants. And, and you want to, you know, you write this to me as if you don't know I'm an, Im I'm an immigrant. So I'm an immigrant, and I shouldn't be pro-immigration. I benefited from this immigration. So I'm anti-American values because I'm pro-immigration and I'm an immigrant. I mean, how insulting and ridiculous can you actually get? So again, no. <laughs> immigrants to this country bolster this country. What is hurting this country are the people inside the country who don't understand what it's all about. Now, you asked the question immigration. I had this chart. I, wasn't, I probably wasn't going to get to it, but I might as well talk about this. Just looking at illegal immigration, I find this statistic fascinating because it's so consistent with everything, in a sense, Donald Trump does. Do you know, you probably don't know, and probably none of you know, that illegal, that, so Pew just came out with a new survey data and, that finds that illegal immigration into this country has declined again, again, in, in, in uh, you know, they've got 2017 is the last data they have, but it declined from 2016 to 2017. So illegal immigration to the United States peaked in 2007. And the number of illegal immigrants in the U.S. has gone down every single year, pretty much, consistently, since 2007. And it's lower now than it has been since about 2004. Which means that some of those illegal immigrants are becoming legal, and some of those illegal immigrants are going back to where they came from. But they're not here anymore. So... I mean, this whole panic hysteria about illegal immigration, the numbers just don't pan it out. It's hysteria for the sake of hysteria. Well, it's hysteria for the sake of power. It's hysteria for the sake of control. That's, that's a good value, I guess, of, of it. All right, one more, we got one more question. Uh, and by the way, you know, uh, uh, I saw constant complaints by... Uh, by people in Singapore about immigration. Because, and it's all from the left in Singapore. And why are they complaining? Because immigrants are taking their jobs. Immigrants are lowering wages. You know, the same kind of leftist complaint. And it's always the left that, it's always been the left historically that has complained bitterly about immigrants. It's, it's a new phenomena now that in a sense, Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump had united in a stance against Immigrants. I don't believe the, the campaign stuff that Bernie Sanders is pro-immigration. He's never been pro-immigration, never in his political life, and he's not now. He'll say it because he knows many of the Democratic Party are there, but he's a union guy, and he hates immigrants because supposedly they lower wages and they provide competition for American uh, employee, uh, you know, em employees. So he, he doesn't like it because the unions don't like immigrants.